Hey everyone, this is Shannon Scott with Grape Talks coming to you from downtown Champaign, Illinois, directly from uh, the University of Illinois campus, kind of here on the quad near uh, the old uh, Altgeld Hall. Am I saying that right? Uh, under some construction, but it's kind of interesting that here in the middle of the uh, U of I campus, uh, on the campus itself, is the headstone and burial of the school's very first president, John Milton and Gregory. So uh, here, kind of near the bike racks, a uh, little covered area, a uh, little park, I suppose, we have the headstone of John Milton and Gregory. Great name, John Milton, of course, makes you think of uh, the very educated writer uh, of Paradise Lost, Paradise Found. Um, but nonetheless, he was, uh, I think he was from Sand Hills, New York, and started out in law school in the uh, 1880s. Uh, well, actually, no, he didn't. Let's see, first president from 1867. So he was born July 6, 1822. That's kind of apropos as tomorrow is July 6, so there must be some meaning here for us. Um, but in the 1840s, it looks like he was in law school, eventually turning to the ministry. Uh, I think he was a Baptist minister, but then he really got into his educational arc in Michigan and various schools and being a principal. And, you know, I don't know the guy's life story, just kind of here to highlight some grave stuff, but, uh, ultimately he ended up, uh, in the area of Champaign and became the first president in 1867 dying in 1880. He was originally buried in Mount Hope Cemetery in a vault. Oh, and by the way, he wrote something like, uh, in his lifetime, a book called The Seven uh, Tenets of Teaching or something to that effect. So very invested in education and expanding knowledge. He had a lot to do with uh, the permission of um, women being allowed at the University of Illinois campus. So, hey, women out there, got to pay John Milton <laughs> Gregory a nod. Uh, but also, when he became the president of the school in 1844, he was kind of looked at, or sorry, at 44 years of age, my bad. In, in 1867, he was 44 years of age. They kind of looked down on him uh, for being so young and being, uh, you know, so accomplished. Uh, sorry, we've got a literal John Deere tractor coming onto the campus, which is pretty cool, actually. You know, it doesn't get more... Uh, Illinois farmer vibe than that right there. That's pretty tight. Um, sorry for the noise. But kind of back to his death. He died in Washington, D.C. while doing some research uh, on a new project uh, in 1880. And when he was buried in Mount Hope Cemetery, I, I think the will, of his will, insisted that he was he would like to be buried on the campus of the University of Illinois. So a few months later, that came true. They dug the guy up. They put John Milton and Gregory here in the campus. And then in 1914, while they were, I think, building or erecting Lincoln Hall, if, if I'm correct in that, they found this boulder. And in 1914, uh, the boulder plaque created the old headstone, something done with, I'm sure, uh, or the original headstone. But yeah, right here beneath, uh, this looks like River Slate, but uh, he was buried in the middle of the U of I campus. That's kind of neat. Uh, but yeah, John Milton Gregory, first president of the University of Illinois. And of course, uh, people that follow me know that I like to hang out in Mount Hope Cemetery over there in Champaign, which is like the pioneer cemetery of the founding of the town. And although it's a private cemetery, there are a lot of educators and teachers and athletic coaches and famous athletes that were all tied in the U of I, buried in Mount Hope Cemetery. And Although it's private, uh, my appeal, I really wish the leadership of the University of Illinois would get invested in that cemetery because it needs so much help and is so much a part of the legacy of this school. So I think in the name of John Milton Gregory and others, um, the U of I should take a closer look at how to help Mount Hope Cemetery. But all that said, they've got at least one grave. Looks like they're uh, taking some care of, and that is of their very first president, John Milton Gregory. So... Uh, John Milton, uh, as your monument reads, if you seek his monument, look about you. Um, I'm sure that's some biblical quote, probably with the uh, tomb of Christ or something. But uh, the university, yeah, if you look around you, especially those old buildings that are so magnificent, uh, and I hope they always stand here, um, but uh, his legacy. So really interesting gravesite, guys. Come see it in Champaign. Thanks for watching.